There's a bunch of little things I do when I install Windows fresh on a laptop. So one of them is I just show the Windows version on the desktop. Um, but another is Power Config. Now, I've <laughs> got this really old article that talks a little bit about this, but it's for a specific use case. Let me just more generically record the procedure here. All right, so you may not have a command button, um, but if you type, hit the Windows key, type CMD, and then right click here and say run as administrator, that's how you get started with what we're gonna do. And what we're gonna do is manage power where we keep keys or mouse movements from inadvertently waking up the laptop. I want this laptop to stay asleep unless I hit the power button, okay? And since it's just been rebuilt, it's a six-year-old Lenovo Yoga, without any kind of third-party utilities, well, I want to make sure I get this right where wiggling the mouse or um, pushing any key or uh, in luggage or whatever wakes things up. So, first thing we do, power CFG. That's the command, right? And it says, oh, type question mark. Cool. Now, <laughs> that's a lot of commands in there. So let's do this. Redirect to powercfg.txt and then notepad start typing okay notepad powercfg.txt there now I got to help a cheat sheet right that I can just leave on the screen doesn't take up too much room all right so device query that sounds promising okay and it has its own syntax all right cool up arrow. If you're not used to these commands, this could look a little daunting. Um, but I haven't found a reliable way to do this from the GUI. Yeah, you can go and look for these devices in Device Manager, but here you'll find all devices, no matter where they are, in a very long and complicated Device Manager. And I'm going to delete them all. Now the power button's still going to work. All right, so to say device disable wake is the next command. Case doesn't matter, by the way. Okay, and it wants a question mark again. There we go. So we do that. And then we just put the device in quotes. So put my mouse here in the first one. Swipe my left mouse button, held down, swipe across, hit enter. And it's now in the clipboard. And then right click down here and hit enter. I'll close the quotes. I don't think I actually have to, but all right, let's get the next one in. And you don't actually have to hit enter either. I don't think I think it's in the clipboard already. Right click. Okay, I did not hit enter this time. Let's see what happens. <laughs> you do need to hit enter. Sorry about that. Enter, okay. All right, now when I up arrow and I do a query for all armed devices, nothing. And that is it. Before I close it out, let me just show you in Device Manager, if we look at the mouse now, there is an equivalent setting. But what I want to point out here is that you probably wouldn't find all those devices. So power management, right? Allow this device to wake computer. That was on, we turned it off. But again, good luck finding a reliable way to find all this stuff, digging through all this stuff on the right. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, thank you for watching, and thanks for visiting Tinker Try, IT at home.